Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fishing with West. I'm your host, John B. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a bait that I've been having my eye on for quite some time. And I've just gotten the money to pick up some equipment. I picked up the new 13 Fishing Concept Day. And I decided to pick up some baits that I've been wanting to use for, for a while now. That being the Riot Baits Fuzzy Beaver. Now this is a bait I've been following a lot on Facebook. And once I realized their baits had finally made it on Tackle Warehouse, I decided to pick some up and try it out here today. It's calm conditions, very warm. The sun is beating down, so I think, in my opinion, that this fuzzy beaver is going to excel today. So I've got 40 minutes to put this beaver to the test, and by doing so, I'm going to take you guys along with me by reviewing this lure and testing it out on spring waters. Stay tuned, guys. This should be a good video. <laughs> Silly hook set. I didn't know that fish was on there. That's on the cold steel, I think. Blue steel. Not a bad largemouth. Caught that on the fuzzy beaver by Ryan Bates. The rig that I'm basing this fuzzy beaver review around is a simple Texas rig. It's not your ordinary Texas rig. Really what I like to do is I like to fish with small weights, very light weights. I've got a 1 8 ounce weight today and this really complements the big water resistant body of the fuzzy beaver and this has got a really slow rate of fall when you've got such a, a bulky heavy bait like the Riot's bait, Riot Bait's uh, fuzzy beaver right here. And all I'm doing is I've got a halo punch stopper right here, it's a bobber stopper, same thing, and I got a Strike King 1 8 ounce weight which will allow a real slow rate of fall in this colder water. I want that bait to have a little bit of hang time. And I've got a Trocar 3 aught EWG on here. And I'm tying a Palmar knot. And the real key in this rig is, is the lightweight and the bobber stopper. The bobber stopper is going to keep that bait at hole. It's not going to make that bait that that weight slide around and, and cause a little bit of an imbalance. There is, you know, a plus to, to not having one. Sometimes it'll allow that fish to suck up the bait without having to feel any weight. But with a one, one eight ounce weight, you really don't have to worry about much. So I'm gonna take my beaver right here. This is in a green pumpkin. One of my favorite colors right next to black and blue. As you can see, it's a pretty big bait, you know? Very, very bulky, bulky bait. And it's got these chevron ribs in it. And what that does is it captures water, so when this bait hits the bottom, it releases a bunch of bubbles. It actually captures air, excuse me, it captures air, and once this bait hits the bottom, it releases a bunch of bubbles. And it adds a, adds a little bit of effect to the bait. I think it, it makes a pretty big difference, especially when I'm flipping docks in areas where I need as, you know, as much attention to detail as possible because these fish have seen so much in the past. They've seen jigs, they've seen craws, they've seen other style beavers. But this one's really cool because it's got this patent pending rib design, the chevron rib design, and it allows that bait to capture air and bring those bubbles down. So when it hits the bottom, you get a little bit of a fizz, I call it, a little bit of a fizz that comes up to the surface. And I think the fish see that, and they key in on that and think that that looks different, you know. I don't think it necessarily has to look like anything specific in the water that it releases that kind of bubble fizz, but... I think it's just different. It sets itself aside from any other bait out there. And I also think that the ribs allow the fish to hold on to it longer. I've heard that as well. I don't know if that's scientifically proven, but sometimes these ribs get caught up, almost like peanut butter to the back of our throat. It's the same thing with these ribs. It just doesn't, doesn't correlate with the back of the fish's mouth and it gets caught up there. I don't know if that's specifically true, but it's a plus. 
and uh, it's got it's got really cool appendages. It's got six appendages on the side, not counting the two claws and these two appendages. So I guess a total of eight appendages on both sides. Awesome little bait using the Texas rig today, fishing the 13 fishing concept day with a Powell endurance seven foot six flipping stick. I think you back out the water. Enough talking. Gonna catch some more fish. Sun's out. Bass are out. And so am I.